Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida. And I know I look kind of crazy right now. Um, I'm doing my hair. And I just wanted to go ahead and do this intro so that I can go ahead and get part of this taken care of. Yeah, we all family here, y'all know. Um, and my PJs is normal. Um, the only difference is you're just seeing me. This is me. Love me or leave me. So, I was um, watching, I was surfing the internet, as I sometimes do. Who am I kidding? I'm always surfing the internet because I'm always looking for stuff to do for you guys. And, lo and behold, I found this right here. Yes, this lovely thing right here. And so, before I can even finish, my mind was just racing so hard, racing so hard, because I knew I was going to do this piece. And um, uh, granted, this piece is glass, it has glass in it, and I was trying to think, how can I do this glass? And I think I can, but I'm going to use this poster board. It's 11.75 by 36 inches, and I got it from Wally Well, and it was $15.90 something. You know how Walmart prices are. You're going to need a clock, also from Walmart, $3.88. You're going to need your hot knife or something to cut this with. Um, you may can use, I have this little rotary thing right here as well. Um, it came in a kit that a company sent to me. Um, and I was trying to use it to cut metal, but it does not cut metal, metal, <laughs> metal. So you make a cut plastic with it or you use your handy dandy switch. No, it's not a switch blade box cutter and you may need your hot glue gun and glue sticks you will need some paint either spray paint or regular paint and I'm probably going to use this so I don't have to go back downstairs to spray paint this um did I say these mirrors I don't think I did anyway this is one inch round mirrors this is one inch diamond shaped mirror pieces like oops, like this and I have some two inch mirrors here as well so I have one inch two inch inch and then I have the one inch diamond pieces um you're gonna need a pen to mark your plastic you may need some scissors E6000 and you may need some popsicle sticks but I'm hoping you don't so that's everything that you're going to need for this DIY and if it's not count to my head and not my heart but you will know before this video is over everything that you will be needing so I just wanted to go ahead and do this intro so that I can go ahead and paint the board while we're doing some other work. So I'm going to do that. I'm getting ready to go paint this. So fam, right here I'm just showing you that you take this um, frame apart the same way you would a regular um, frame. And now I'm moving on to the clock, taking it apart. I'm going to take it out of this frame and I'm going to need some little uh, screwdrivers to get the nails out in the back. And once the nails are out in the back, I'm going to pull the um, the clock apart and use get the piece out that I'm going to need. So here I am pulling the clock apart, and I'm going to sit the glass in the frame actual frame part to the side, and we're going to work with just this part of the clock. So now I'm going to take it outside and give it a coat of spray paint because um, I need the edges to be silver. So I'm going to go spray paint it that color 
And once I get back, we'll move on to the next step. So now here I'm just showing you the clock is from Mainstay. It's a 8.75. Uh, That's the measurements and you get it from Walmart. And I'm showing you that um, I'm finished spray painting it. And now I'm going to bring the, I guess you call it acrylic, the acrylic frame back. And so I'm so I can measure where the clock is going to go and what size I need it to be. Now, guys, this is the first mistake I made. Um, I would I should have went on and used that frame like I was going to do and turn it upside down, but I decided to use the mirror instead. And the mirror made the hole just a little bit too big, so I would advise you if you use this clock to use the frame itself and turn the frame upside down and use the frame to cut your um, circle out for where your clock is going to go. So here I am just using the mirror to go ahead and cut the circle out. I'm just making sure it's even on both sides before I go ahead and do it because once I cut it, that's it. One cut. That's all I have. I can't go back and fix it. I have to go back out and get another um, canvas. So I'm going to take um, a permanent marker and I'm going to draw that draw circle. I'm sorry. Draw the circle out on the acrylic um, frame. I mean yeah frame and once I do that I'm going to take my hot knife and I'm going to cut that circle out with my hot knife now guys be careful with the hot knife because it will jump on you and you you will you can scratch the acrylic up and you can't take this that scratch out the acrylic so I'm just um, going around the edge going around that circle that I created and I'm pressing down really, really hard. And so you're going to notice that it's burning the actual cardboard itself. But that's fine. I ju You just keep stopping so it don't get too hot. And I'm just going to finish cutting this out and then I'll be back. Here I'm just showing you up close view of how you cut it. And I'm on the last little bit. And you're going to see that the, um, the hot knife jumps. So I had to go to another side so it wouldn't jump on me because it was, I scratched up the acrylic frame like a couple of times you can see it a little bit right there on the top right hand side guys if you have not subscribed to our channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything it's free and then hit that bell beside it so you could become a part of our YT family. I would love to have you here and I would love to know what your take is on this DIY. So go ahead and become part of our family. So now I have the circle cut out and I'm just taking it out and I'm taking the acrylic piece out so I can show you the circle. And so I'm testing, well actually I am sanding the rough edges off around the uh, where the hot knife cut and I'm also uh, shaving some of that black permanent marker off but don't don't um foul too much because if you do it'll crack the acrylic cr uh, will crack because it's um uh, brutal and it's fragile now and I'm using a, a fingernail file to sand it down but you're welcome to use regular sanding paper so now I'm testing the 
the clock out inside of the hole and as you can see it's a little bit too big I, I wanted it to fit snug and if I would have used the the frame like I said I would it would have been so now we're going to move on to the, the frame itself um, we're going to put the plastic back inside of the frame and secure it with the little tabs and your hot glue gun now I'm going to show you guys the difference between the hot glue drying and the E6000 and so I'm going to go with the E6000 when I think I'm, I'm going to place the mirrors on the back of the frame and let it and and secure them to the back so, so you can't so the mirrors are on the inside of the frame but it doesn't look like that and it appears to on the picture that they're on the outside so that's what I'm going to do and see I'm showing you right here that the uh, E6000 dries clear and I show you that the glue you can see the glue when it dries and we don't want that so here are the three different pieces of mirror that I have the diamond the one inch and the two inch and I like the two inch because it's closer to the picture so I'm gonna um, start laying that out trying to mimic the pattern of what the actual clock is and I'm showing you I'm gonna use my E6000 and my hot glue because I'm putting the mirrors on the front of the clock so uh, so you're not going to be able to see the back of the the um one inch I mean the two inch mirrors so I'm showing you the picture of the clock again and showing you that I'm going to try to mimic that pattern as close as I can to it but um remember this is 11.75 and the actual uh the clock itself was a 13 inch 13 by 64 and I was is 11.75 by 36 so I have all of the mirrors lined up the way I want them to be lined up and I'm gonna go through now and I'm gonna put a dab of a 6000 right in the middle and then I'm gonna go around the edge and put a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to stick it right back and I'm going to do that to all of the pieces and then when I finish that I will be back My puppy is snoring, guys. And I was just showing you right there what I was using. A dab of E6000 and then putting it, a hot glue around it and putting it back down. Now I'm finished putting them all on and I flipped the frame over and I'm securing the frame even more inside of the 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 acrylic part inside of the frame by using hot glue to seal it in and now I'm taking E6000 and I am putting it around the edge of the clock I mean the acrylic opening so that I can seal the clock in with it and you're gonna notice that um, it's you can really see you can see the acrylic parts where it's burnt that and that's what I mean if you use the actual inside of the picture frame like I was you won't have that because the a frame will fit real real snug right up against the the clock and you won't need to use any uh, reinforcements like I'm gonna have to to hide it so I put the uh, E6000 down on it and now I am securing it to the, the uh, acrylic frame and I'm going to flip this over and well right here I noticed that you, you see that I had to uh, deviate a little bit from the actual original design because the around the edges of the clock was not looking right so I went on and put these one inch diamond pieces around the clock and I think it just boosts the glam factor up even more and it, it just we just put our own personal touch 
on the, the, the original. And I still love this, but my daughter has already claimed it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and do another one. And, um, and then I'll be able to do it the way that I originally supposed to. So guys, here it is. I'm just showing you the diamond pieces all around it. And guys, the project, and I'm showing you that you should use that frame, the inside of the frame. And guys, I did secure the mirror on top of the frame itself. Um, just to, I mean, on, on top of the clock, just to get a clock some secured security on the front. But you don't have to. You can leave it open if you if you don't um, if you want to leave it just like the design. But I chose to put the the frame back on, not the frame, but the glass back on top of it. So guys, once we do that, we're all finished with the project. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Tell me if it's spot on. Tell me if you really like this design. And guys, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you to the moon and back and back again. And guys, please look at the winner's um, video so that I can go ahead and send all of the prizes out. I love you guys and talk to you later. Bye-bye.